guess I'll start running. <laughs> what is the truth behind modern migration? <laughs> Where do we start? <laughs> there isn't one type of migrant, I guess. Mm -hmm. So you have the international student mm -hmm. who wants to know, acquire education overseas. You have family migrant who wants to join family or get married. You have the labor migrant who wants to find better jobs. Mm -hmm. And then you have you know, refugees and asylum mm. seekers who are forced to actually move. And each type of migrant has their own set of reasons. So what compels somebody to leave their country? There's such a wide variety of motives and, and drivers and factors that no single theory of migration has ever been able to capture them all and never will. I think that's a very interesting point because I think there is a misconception that we can, you know, as researchers predict exactly, you know, migration numbers and say, you know, how many are going to come. Yeah, when even the richest countries have trouble getting the, the precise numbers right. Yes, so exactly. So, so it's that's starting from an uncertain baseline. You're already starting from an uncertain measurement. You don't have theories to help you because it's so vast and complex a problem. And then you're looking into a process that is so volatile that that prediction is just yeah. just impossible. Something good about the research that's going on here mm -hmm. is that on our side, we're, so we're looking very quantitatively. Mm -hmm. can we, we see statistics of people moving. What, what can we measure mm -hmm. about those areas in terms mm -hmm. of density of conflicts, economic activity, environmental factors? and see what are the patterns that explain that. I guess there are so many misconceptions about migration. And I think this is why people think that modern migration now is so different, while in reality, it might not be different from the past. And then people themselves change the, the, the way they see themselves. So the person becomes a citizen of both country of origin and, and destination, so they, they, the, the identity combines the two elements, which is something that has been looked at since for, for a few decades now, but now is becoming more important than ever. I think.